Today I'm considering the dreamer's journey. You know, when Joseph was younger, he wasn't very bright. He could barely manage to find his brothers, let alone manage the nation of Egypt. In Genesis 37, 15, it says he was wandering around looking for his brothers when some guy found him and said, what are you doing? He's like, I'm looking for my brothers. Please help me find them. And the man's like, they've left and gone on somewhere else. And you know, Joseph also wasn't bright because he told his brothers about this dream he had where they all bowed down to him. They already disliked him because he was the favorite child. So that was not a very smart thing to do. But then he got sold into slavery and was working for Potiphar. Potiphar put him in charge of his old whole household. So he learned how to manage all of the servants and probably business associates and your normal everyday citizens. But that wasn't enough. He ended up going to jail and he learned how to manage all of the criminals and poor people and like the other side of the coin. Then he had learned enough to manage all of Egypt and became Pharaoh's second in command. So I believe that God allowed him to go through that whole process of learning all of these ways of managing different people, all of these hardships, to be able to do what God had him do. And I believe that God also allows us to go through similar trials and hardships so that we can do what God has for us to do. Those are my thoughts. Feel free to share yours.